This movie tells a story about Thomas, a former soldier whose past traumas have left him homeless. He is offered free room in an old house inhabited by a lonely woman, Magda, and her ill mother. In trade, Thomas is expected to work on repairing the rotting house. Naturally, the more he settles in, the deeper his suspicions grow that there's something seriously wrong with the house and its inhabitants. This haunted household is not quite what you think, and this movie chooses to prolong its mystery as long as painfully possible until a ballsy conclusion. This movie displays a whole lot of righteous, well-earned anger, but without a real focus, it's merely one nonsensical plot twist after another. This movie bounces back and forth in time between Thomas, past and present. Initially, these transitions are confusing and disjointed. Much of the 99-minute runtime tends to feel disconnected, a series of unconnected scenes that all contribute to the central thesis. The movie is unhurried in its unfurling of what's happening in this bizarre home. There's nothing wrong with a slow burn horror movie, but the key to making that work is to keep things interesting. This movie fails miserably on that front. Some shots and moments simply feel unnecessary. In between Magda and Thomas budding relationship, we occasionally get moments of intriguing horror. Unfortunately, the entire proceeding drags on as if it's sleepwalking through the madness. Neither of the two main characters are particularly compelling, and you start to wonder why the heck we're supposed to be following these two. There's an intentional disconnect between how characters see themselves versus who they really are, but the director keeps these mysteries too close to the chest for too long. The house setting also leaves something to be desired, like actual scares which are very few and far between. Horror movies which mostly unfurl in one location tend to make such specific location characters in their own right, but the house where Thomas and Magda slowly circle each other never truly comes to life. While there are some downright disturbing secrets within, they slowly accepting each other in the house without feeling in tandem with it, squandering much of the potential for fear or suspense. The movie just doesn't give Thomas and Magda enough of a foundation to truly evoke much of a reaction and it erodes the rest of the film to such a degree that the batshit conclusion is not even exciting enough to be called a climax, merely a collection of half-baked ideas that rely on the very stereotypes this movie is trying to subvert. This movie is a severe slow burn where the payoff doesn't quite make the preceding two-thirds of the film feel worth the wait.